Hi, this is April from My Three C's, and in this video, I'm going to take this dresser and show you how you can utilize it using three home decor themes. Um, that way, when you guys are shopping for furniture uh, in your favorite vintage or antique store, you don't overlook something because you can't see past the way somebody has staged it. Um, when we're doing uh, shows or we're staging our things in our, in our stores, a lot of the times people see the way that we stage them and think that's the only way that they can be used. But I'm going to show you different. I gave this dresser a makeover by using Sweet Pickings Milk Paint in Window Paint and then I accented it with Moody Blue Stripes. Then what I did next was I sealed it with Sweet Pickings Milk Paint Oil Wax. I gave it two coats of that so that way it was nice and protected. And then, to give it more of a modern feel, I took the old hardware and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's uh, gunmetal spray paint. So here's the first look that I have for you guys, and surprise, surprise, it's a baby room. And that's not just because it has a big letter B on there. Of course, there's the big letter B, and then I also put a blue blanket, that cute little donkey statue, and a teddy bear hanging out of the drawer. I just love the way that that pulls together the little space. And that little donkey up there, he's actually a whiskey bottle, but he's really cute because he's dressed like a clown, so I kind of think it fits. And I think this dresser would fit in any nursery. What do you think? And here's the second look that I have for you guys. It is a beachy theme, or maybe even a nautical theme. I don't have a lot of nautical things in my home, but I was able to pull this all together for you guys with a couple odds and ends that I had laying around. I put some seashells, lanterns, some insulators, family pictures, and then I was also able to pull out these boat paddles that I had laying around in my garage. I think it really ties that little look together, don't you think? There's the seashells, and I just wrapped a big old piece of rope that I had into a little bowl and filled it with those seashells. And then I just added those other little elements. And of course you have to have a family picture, and that's a family picture of my mother-in-law. Isn't she beautiful? And here's the third look. I think this is more my style. Uh, it has more of the items that I have laying around in my home that I have on display in this picture. Um, but I really think it's a cute look. You can see that I have mirrors and a Tiffany glass lamp. And then I looked around a little bit more and I found our family Bibles that I like putting on dressers and end tables and just displaying them along with family pictures. And that, my friends, is my favorite duck. I know, he's just a concrete, broken up duck, but I just love him and he's in a lot of my pictures, or a lot of my um, YouTube videos as well. As you can see, you can take your vintage find or antique store find and transform it into something that will fit into your home by taking some of your home decor items and just using a little creativity so that it fits in your space appropriately. Thank you for watching. Something's fixing to happen. Why? It's counting down. Three, two, one. As you can see, you today. <laughs> so as you can see, you can take a dresser and just go ahead and try. <sighs> take six hundred and eighty. Hold on. You made me forget what I was going to say. A modern feel is I took the old hardware and spray painted them with Rust-Oleum's um, spray paint in, oh my god, how come I can't say that? I gave this dresser a makeover by using Sweet Pilking, Pilking?